Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I wanna show you how to rank in Google Maps using Notebook LM. This is amazing. Watch this. All right, guys, I hope everybody's doing great. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to use Notebook LM to really rock out your Google business profile and get it seen in, in different areas. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to add pages to your website using Notebook LM. This next way is I'm gonna show you some tweaks that you need to make in your Google business profile. And the last one, I think reviews are the, are the easiest method to uh, increase your Google business profile ranking. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so to make sure that we're all talking about the same thing, we're talking about ranking right here. Today I'm using plumber near me, but you could be an electrician, a DUI doctor. I say the same things all the time. Just swap out your keywords. We're talking about ranking right here. This is the most clicked area on Google for local searches. So if you have a service-based business, you want to be here. You do not pay for your clicks. So if somebody comes here and clicks your website or calls you from here, this is not pay-per-click. All these clicks are free. So if you have, especially if you have an emergency service business, this is where people are clicking the most. If they need a lawyer right away, they're not, they're not scrolling down to here and they're not looking through Yelp. They're calling you up on the top. They're reading re your reviews. They're clicking you. You need to be here. Now, not only do you need to be in this section, but you need to be in this section as we go out further away from your location, wherever you registered your Google business profile. Let's say it's 1010 Main Street. We want to be not on Maple Street, but we want to be all the way up here where it says uh, Brandamore. And we want to be all the way down here where it says Romansville. See that? We want to be in all those different areas. But how do we do that, right? Because there's, there's two or 300 other plumbers or lawyers. Uh, and, and, and why would they pick us? So this video i'm going to show you how now this isn't an overnight trick this isn't something that you're going to do and tomorrow you go but you're going to understand how google works and how to position yourself to be on the top of google maps by by just doing uh by just following these steps hey guys if this video brings any value please like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much right so the next thing you want to do is you want to come over to notebooklm.google that's all notebooklm.google you come into an entrance page when you click try it you come to a page like this and then you just click create new all right guys so we want to rank up on top here in brandon more right but we're just for example, we're Armstrong Plumbing. I don't know Armstrong Plumbing. They're not a client of mine, but this is what I would do if I was Armstrong Plumbing and I wanted to rank up here in Brandonmore. And this is what you should do, right? So we scroll down, we find Armstrong Plumbing. It's right here. It's outside the three pack. And we just click website. I am going to take the link on right here. I'm going to take Armstrong Plumbing. PA, and I'm copy it, and I'm just gonna paste it where I click Add Source into Notebook LM, right? So this is Notebook LM. I clicked Add Source, and I have already added. I have already added the website. Very very simple. Now you see these lines right here. All you do is click these lines, right? And what you want to do is you want to click Custom. You want to let Google know that you want the title tag, right? So please write, please write the title tag, title, sorry about that, tag, description, and all the H tags. Okay, and all you do is click save. All right, now I'm going to give it a prompt. 
All right, guys, so I just wrote a little prompt here that basically says, using the website supplied in Notebook LM, in this case, I'm using Armstrong Plumbing, please build me a 1,000-word location-specific keyword page for the keyword Plumber Brandamore PA. And we just hit go and it's going to write the content for this page and my god every time it writes content i'm i'm literally blown away so here we go here's a here's a location specific keyword page for plumbers brand more pa based on the information for Armstrong Plumbing. So we gave it all the information for, for Armstrong Plumbing, and then what it did was it built a page specifically for that area. Now, just think of this, because we have to think now even wider. We have to think about in Brandamore, what other services do we offer? Well, we offer plumbing services, right? We're also going to build uh, HVAC Brandamore, and we're going to build um, 24 hour emergency plumbing brand and more, right? So think of all your keyword pages, probably for each for each uh, town, you probably have anywhere between five and 10 keyword pages. And you need to build them for each, let me go back and show you, for each town. Now you don't necessarily have to put these um, pages on the, the navigation of your website, Right, you don't necessarily have to, though you can. Right, you don't have to put them on your navigation, your website, website, but you can. So for each area, so for example, like right here in Honeybrook, you want to rank in Honeybrook. Right, you want to rank here in Honeybrook. You have to do the same thing, uh, uh, HVAC, Honeybrook HVAC, and then you come over to to uh, Notebook LM, and you give it the same prompt, but you just tell it. Honeybrook HVAC is the keyword, and it'll write all the content. The content's really, really good. I would go through it. I would go through all the content, but it has everything that, really everything that you need. Uh, it, it's really good. The only thing is every once in a while, like even here, I noticed this is in a thousand words. So I would tell it, you know, to, you know, this probably gave me about 400 or so. I, I would tell it to, you know, kick it up a little bit more. We need some more we need some more content. And, you know, like I said, if you watch my last video, you could generate a um, a podcast out of this by just clicking generate. You could, you could uh, do FAQs, a study guide, briefing, doc, a timeline. I mean, this is the reason why I love Notebook LM so much. So remember what I said in the beginning, right? In the beginning, I said you need to do your website. You need to do your Google business profile and you need to do your reviews. You can't just put uh, content on the website to say that you do HVAC in Brandamore and think that you're going to rank, right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click, we're going to come over to your Google business profile and we need to, I'm going to show you a section where you need to check off the areas that you work. I'm gonna use my Google business profile as an example. So you just log into business.google.com. Very simply, you click, see what it says right here, edit profile. You're going to see your locations. So you just click location right here. And see what it says service area, there's a little pencil. You click your service area and you just click your, your areas that are within uh, 10 to 25 miles around where you registered your Google business profile. Don't go out 50 or 75, 100 miles too far. Try to stay within the area and just click your areas. Now, for each one of the areas that you click, you need a page on your website saying that you do uh, that service in that area. Remember I showed you to, the chart that I made before that has the three, has the website, the Google business profile, and then the reviews, right? So we're gonna do all, all three. So you need pages for every single area that you click here. Okay, so you want to put in your 
Google business profile, you want to put the areas that you serve and what you do in those areas in as many sections as possible. So I would take photos in those sections whenever you're doing work in those sections. I would I would add photos there. I would um, click Q and A. Hey, do you do HVAC in you know such and such in such and such an area? In, in Brandomore and and then you could answer it. So you're allowed to you're allowed to add sections in the Q and A. You could ask the question. You could answer the question. What you, what you want to do is you want to fill your Google Business profile with as much information as possible. Even if nobody, even if a client doesn't go in and look at it, you're telling Google what you do and where you do it. So fill up your entire Q&A Q &A section. One of the other things that's, a, uh, that's really good is to add updates. Now this isn't necessarily going to help you rank, but once again, you want to fill up your Google business profile with what you do and where you do it. And if you're going into new towns, you just want to add update, let people know that you do HVAC in Brandomore, that you do DUI law in, you know, in Tampa, wherever you're located, right? You want to do that. You want to create offers and, and also create events. All right, guys, so the last part of the equation is reviews. You want to use Notebook LM to create an outline so this way you'll know what to tell your clients uh, uh, to write in the review. Now, you're not allowed to tell them exactly what to write, but, you know, it's okay to let them know, for example, the person who came out to them or the service that they had or the town that they live in. And what Notebook LM will do is will create the perfect outline for a review. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over to Google. I'm going to click my competition. Right, so I, I clicked, uh, I don't remember which one I clicked, Flow Plumbing Contractors, right? I went down, I clicked Reviews, I scrolled down, I went to Most Relevant, and what I'm going to do is, see if these are the most relevant for Google, then I want to know why they're the most relevant. So I'm gonna click Add Source, and I'm gonna copy text, and I'm going to just do this I'm going to do this about five times. So I'm going to put five reviews in here and we'll be right back. So I have my five reviews I just pasted here. I probably should have changed the name, but they're just reviews. But they're the most relevant that Google sees for that area. So I wrote a prompt and it says, I need Notebook LM to create an outline for my, re for my clients to write reviews. I have included several reviews Google deems most relevant. Based on the reviews I included, please write me an outline I can use when asking my clients for a review for my plumbing service in Brandomore, Pennsylvania. Now remember something, you're going to change the area, you're going to change the service, but you could keep this, you could just rewrite this uh, prompt and you could use it yourself. So I'm gonna just click start and it's going to write me an outline. So here's the outline that I, that I need. Beautiful. Look at this. So, you know, you could, you could create like little flyers or little handouts and just, or you could, hey, uh, please watch this. I do this a lot. Please simplify for a sixth grader. Right, because most people can't follow function, follow uh, uh, directions. Okay, so here you go. So it's simpler, right? What was the problem? What was good about the services? Right, and you could just give them, you know, a, a little a little starter sheet. You could also put a QR code, so they click the QR code, and it goes to uh, directly to your review. They click that. And then they could just they could just read this off, right? Uh, what was good about this service? How did they fix it? Right? And they could just answer a couple of the questions. Because what happens, guys, is that you get a review 
that you know people are happy to write reviews, especially if you do a great a great job. But unfortunately, they don't use and they don't know they're not professional writers, but they don't write what you need, right? They were great. John was great. That doesn't tell Google much. They want to know what you did, where you did it, and um, you know, were you punctual? Were you, on, you know, you were on time, right? Were, were you affordable, right? That type of stuff, right? Would you would you suggest your service to other people? Would you recommend them, right? We can't expect people to know all that. So you just want to hand them a sheet like this and say, hey, when we're finished with the job, if you would please give us a review and you can include just answering some of these questions. You don't need to answer all of them and you're going to get better reviews. You will get better reviews from your clients. So that's how you use Notebook LM to rock out Google Maps. Guys, I hope this video helped you. I do these videos so you can get more leads and make more sales and, and do things, you know, help your family out. Nobody's watching this these videos for beer money. Uh, this is your business. You're very serious about your business. You have a limited time to um, you know, to learn about Google and Google Maps, you have other issues that you have to take care of. You have accounting, you have employees, you have uh, problems with clients, and, and now you have to try to figure out how to get your business in Google. I understand. That's why I try to make these videos as easy as possible, right? As easy as possible. There's nothing really hard here, right? I just try to make it. I'm always thinking of the electrician or the plumber or the doctor who just came home from work and they're like, ah, I got a half hour. You know, how, how could I improve my Google rankings? And and that's that's the person I'm thinking about when I write, when I when I uh, when I create these videos. So I hope this video helped you. Please be good to your family. Please kiss your wife, kiss your kids, help out around the house. I know you you worked a long day and, 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 you, and you're tired and, and you're trying to figure out Google. But, you know, I'd be good to your family also. Help out around the house. Take care of the kids. Take care of the dog. Go walk the dog. Right. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, guys.